of the Constitution is it to say, is to the fact that no presidential candidate can be declared a winner in this election without having 25% in the Federal Capital Territory. That is very important for the whole world to know that tomorrow's election, wherever it the, 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 to be finally declared, apart from having 25% in 24 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Federal Capital Territory is like a compulsory question. You can answer all that question. The Federal Capital Territory, without having 25%, you go nowhere. This is important. And finally, the broad outline of the 20th century of that party is clear. It offers opportunity for people who can work together, live together, and give not only for themselves, but their future generations, whose faces we are yet to see, who they will never know, who through a democratic process, in a free, fair, and credible election, will be able to give not only to themselves, but future generations, whose faces we are yet to see, whose name we will never know, all of whom must say that in our own time, we did what was necessary. This RV reacts as former INEC Rec sees 25% in FCT is compulsory for a candidate to be declared president. I know this guy, uh, Revival, is still contesting his election in Lagos State. And uh, this other ex INEC official, actually, I think it's a Guinea. He's a man, Mike Guinea, this a man that has retired. He said all of this, and the INEC chairman knows about it. Unfortunately, the INEC chairman happens to be another thief. Okay, that has collected billions from Tinubu to do a dirty job for him. They will all, well, no matter how good Tinubu is, as long as he got there illegitimately by breaking rule of law, breaking electoral laws, he's not fit to remain there. He must leave for someone else to go. He has cheating and stealing tendencies. And that is it. He's obviously <coughs> corrupt in all his ways. Badibor was Bible, the candidate for the Labour Party in Lagos. As governorship candidate in Labour Party, in Labour Party, um, has responded to a statement made by Mike Igini, the former INEC resident commissioner for Akwaibom State. Igini stated that in order to be declared the winner of a presidential election in Nigeria, a candidate must have received at least 25 percent of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory. Now, during an interview on Arise TV, during an interview on Arise TV. Mike again emphasized that it is impossible to declare a candidate as the winner of a presidential election unless they have achieved a minimum of 25% of the votes in the Federal Capital Territory. In response to the comment made by the former INEC resident commissioner, Badibo Rusvaivo expressed that the 25% stipulation in the Federal Capital Territory of City is ironic. It is already well known that Peter Gregory Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, was the sole candidate in the federal, uh, the February 25 uh, presidential election to receive 25% or more of the votes in the FCT, as reported by the INEC uh, Commission. Mm. Oh, wow. So, Jerry B is saying here. 25% in FCT is sacrosanct. Why is this video not trending on X? Obedience, we have the numbers. Let's make it happen. Okay? <laughs> not be smart, you know. Dear valid readers, we highly value you. Okay? So that is exactly what is happening here. The video is actually... Uh, it's, it's, it's from Arise TV. And I know that obviously it will trend because that 25 percent the lawyers know the judges know supreme court know cjn knows attorney general federation knows about it all the electoral officers knows about it the third matter is that the current INEC chairman mahmoud yakubu and tunubu enter the bargain that is putting nigeria into this trouble i think that mahmoud yakubu is supposed to be in jail tunubu himself is not supposed to be seated there because he broke electoral laws to be there, and so he's not fit to be a Nigerian president. That is the gospel truth about this thing. That is the obvious truth. Okay? It was only Peter B that got, I think, over, is it about 60 something percent of the FCT vote? Okay? 
So the question here is why, you know, why is Tinubu and uh, and uh, uh, INEC chairman doing all this? And why is judiciary keeping mum about it, trying to pass a judgment? I just hope that that judgment will not go south because um, with the delay they have made already in that judgment, it is obvious that they know the truth. And I just hope that they will not give APC the opportunity to go and alter that judgment. Okay. It is obvious um, that that election was mad and flawed by breaking the electoral laws. And uh, it was Mahmoud Yakubu, the custodian of the electoral laws, that actually broke the laws for Tinubu because he collected billions. He will vomit that billions. That is the truth. Okay. The, the, it will turn bread of sorrow in his stomach. That is what the scripture said. When you eat bread of sorrow, you will not, you will not live peacefully. So what he has taken will turn to bread of sorrow in his stomach because he looted Nigerians, uh, Nigerians' mandate and gave it to someone else who does not deserve it, who did not win it. That is it. So it must be recovered. Once it is recovered, it shall be no peace in INEC. It shall be no peace anywhere because it is absolutely unacceptable for what Mahmoud Yakubu did and what Tinubu did. And the same Tinubu, after stealing people's mandate, after breaking electoral rules and electoral laws, and to rig himself there, wants to reinstate democracy in, in Niger and Gabon or anywhere. It's not possible now. He, the pot cannot call the kettle black. He had a democratic coup d'etat. That was what happened under him. The other was a military coup d'etat, while his own was a democratic coup d'etat. He cannot continue to remain there. Okay, and I'm sure that's the reason he's scared and afraid now as they rise. Uh, um, okay, by calling for rising call for military coup in Nigeria is getting higher, and the generals are also written to him if you want to avoid military coup, do the needful as a political uh, elected president, political elected president. Because the only reason coup is taking place is because people, uh, presidents, and having term elongation that are violating electoral laws they are not upholding rule of law and they are not after the well-being of their citizens uh, they are not bad governors is the reason there's military coup so you should be aware and should sit up okay so i've got a few comments here somebody say why is it that some nigerians and their chairman and politicians hate truth without truth you are against god your creator as a result everything clash Okay, as we see in Nigeria, Nigerian governors are baited by government agencies. INEC security agents judiciary to be affirmed by result of the presidential election petition tribunal. And some Nigerians hit through to two. The end is justifying the means as we see in the economy of the nation. Exactly. Look at these frustrated people, not be only 25% now, and 95%. Can you imagine? All these are um tribal by gods to represent fct is a composite question that must be answered it is clear why the argument about it that is it bro it is sacrosanctly compulsory because it is the symbol for the country's unity okay another thing is saying which unity you can you imagine so these ones and there's ones that they call themselves democratic have you? so if a man get 25 percent in the fct and lost the other states he will still be the president, Tavi. There is always a, 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 a judicial way to handle it. So, okay. There's always a judicial way to handle it. So, let's watch how the tribunal will go. Hmm, there's nothing the devil cannot do. The devil is to steal, destroy, and kill. Nigerians wouldn't have been where we are now if men of integrity handle our election institutions. Okay? Very well without selling themselves to the power of money simple english and we are in court to explain it you don't have um, uh, you don't have you don't have but you said you must own it by force may god save nigeria from people who want to rule nigeria by force we hope on god to survive hmm. the truth has been said okay you got it all mr know it all you have come again, okay? 
Can you imagine? They must insult people. All these agbiros. Eh? The guy is an idiot. He doesn't know what he was saying. What has he done wrong? Uh, the guy has said it all. And he said the right thing. That is the truth. The people, the thing is for the judiciary to balance, the, to balance whatever is lacking. So thank you for listening. I guess I have a comment over this uh, Mike Iguini uh, statement or 25% FCT mandatory, uh, be mandatory and uh, rule, uh, body ball, revival reacting to it as well.